Good afternoon everybody, how are we doing? Uh, <laughs> I'm in my bedroom and you can see the rings on my glasses and I'm trying to not get in anywhere with it I'm getting frustrated so I have to keep stopping and then if I, I'm like no, I need to carry on because I need to wash this nursing course I'm like what have I got myself into? I'm just I'm trying to research universities and i've managed to do one but i can't rem i need to go back into my um i've written it down somewhere i don't know what i've done with it <laughs> so i'll just turn that light down a bit there we go um so i'm just trying to figure out what i need to do and i'm like how the hell do people get to go and do a course when you've got to have these certain GCSEs and you need to do this, you need to do that. Um, sorry, not slept very well last night. If you haven't already, go and check over my, it's a five minute video I did this morning. That'll explain it all. But if you're new to this channel, sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Cafe. I like to do videos on mental health, fibromyalgia and blah, 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 my 30 babies. And I'm also starting to do shopping uh videos as well um and now i'm doing my nursing access to nursing and i've only got to question three and i'm like what the heck do i need to do <laughs> um but i've just seen a little bit is here on my laptop it says ad additional entry requirements and you can actually do an avq free level three on any subjects I haven't done that. I've done health and social care level two, intermediate, I think it's called, when I was at school. And I'm also a carer to my two children, even though they're adults, one's an adult and one's 13. But they've got additional needs, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm still doing that. So does that cost us a um, Oh, what's it, Majik? Additional uh, like care, it says here. You can also be accepted for N MVQ Level 3 in any subjects. You must currently be working in a health environment in a health or social care ass assistant and support worker or a carer with a t two years experience. Now, I've done... What have I done? I've worked within home health, but I only did six months of that due to family situation the reason why I left however I've been looking after Olivia with her medical needs for the past since 2017 and um, does that count anyone on a, that's a nurse here can you help me here because I ain't got a clue what I'm doing I'm actually thinking am I going to be able to do this I mean you know what if I do don't do it at least I've tried that's the main thing all depends as well on my um assessment for this MS, I've been told you've got to have scans, lumbar punctures, and I'm like, oh my god, what am I doing? Do is it worth going in? But then I'm like, I need answers, you know what I mean? I'm tired. Sorry, I really am I've not slept very well. I've got Ronnie over here, I've got and it's really warm as well. But I might like, oh I just need to take a break from this. So I'm just looking at that entry levels and I'm like then there's extra occupational health assessments and the DBS checks which are, and then it's English language requirements and I'm like oh my love bond it. the list just goes on and on and on um and I'm like am I doing the right thing here one second guys Sorry, that's a video come through. I absolutely feel worn out today. I'm just going to have one of these skinny things here. Um, skinny whip things. See if that brings my sugar levels up. Because I feel like... I'm <laughs> I feel like a deflated balloon. Um, really nice these. So I've done about... Now I'm going into the bit where it's curriculum. First year. Nursing Academy Practice, Practice 1, Social Concepts of Health, Practice 2, Second Year. Now, 
But let me know. I know there's a lady that has done this. And what do you do, right? For the first year, do you go straight out in placement? What happens? It's not telling me. Um, do you get to choose? Because uh, I don't know. I mean, this is just practical adult nursing. This is mental health one. So this is why I'm asking. What happens? Do you spend like so many time in the classroom and then the rest of the, I don't know. How does it work? I should ask my sister because she did nursing, but that was up in Scotland. So I'm not sure if it's the same here. Practical for them. I'm like, oh, prepare, prepare. Look at, oh my lord, my brain. It's just like, I think I'm going to have to come off it for a minute because, yeah, I'm going to have a break. Because I'm whacked out. And I think I need a cup of tea. It's, too, it's just so warm. But yeah. Um, also I was speaking to my friend before I go. And I said I messaged her. I said look. I don't know what's going on here right now. I'm doing my uh, thing here. Uh, my protection things in the morning. Uh, but I'm getting loads of spirits within my home at the minute. And I'm feeling my spirit guide. And she goes, yeah, try talking to your spirit guide. And then get to know each other, you know, a little bit better. And I think that's who I was seeing yesterday. I don't think it was anybody's relative. I think it was my spirit guide called Pete. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm just going to come off my laptop for a little bit. And I think I'm just going to... I'm just gonna, and I, you know, I thought about drawing and drawing. I've got the image of him in my head, and I'm like, that must be who it is that's so behind me all the time. Oh, let me just, yeah, <laughs> I'm worked out to feel deflated. Anyhow, guys, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I've, I've got things, I've been writing notes and stuff like that. Um, and that is just ideas what to do. I don't know. I am, oh, that, that made me jump. Anyhow, guys, thanks again for watching. And I'm sorry if I'm a bit, I'm just absolutely, I'm ready to fall asleep, but I'm red hot as well. Um, but yeah, let me know what you're doing today. And let me, also, if you're any nurses out there, let me know what happens to you. Go straight into a placement, or do you have to so many? You have to sit in the classroom for like three or six months. I don't know. Let me know. Yeah, I'm gonna catch you later, guys, because I really am feeling deflated today. Uh, must be the chronic fatigue kicking in. Yeah, like I say, go and check over my uh, me, on my channel. I did that'll probably explain a little bit better what I. What happened to me through the night and it was weird but i'm gonna go now i'm gonna make a cup of tea and i'm gonna sit and try and focus on what this uh my spirit guide is and i'm gonna do a bit of sketching because i feel like i need to draw him um he's just showing himself to me but anyway guys thanks again for watching i'll catch up with you in the next video i'll be, enjoy the rest of your day and don't forget to hit that like button subscribe button if you haven't already and that notification bell it does help my health or rhythm if you like and communicate with me, it means the world to me as well. Thank you and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.